Today I'm going to show you a multi-character script created by UZ Store. It has many customization and compatibility options. You can change the design of the UI to fit your taste and show the colors and integrate Tybex for players to purchase more slots. Additionally, you can use it as a spawn selector, of course setting it up with your preferences, and customize the items players receive on spawn. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and watch the preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. Once you're there, you can choose between the open source or escrow version of the multi-character script. If you're interested in their spawn selector as well, bundle number one has both. And there's currently a 50% discount in the store that ends soon. If and once you purchase, go to your key master and granted assets. Then find the multi-character from UZ store and download it. Find the dependency UZ core and download that as well. Once they're done, open them up and open your server resources. I'll add UZ Core first. Then go to the multi-character and add that in as well. Next, go to your server config and ensure them. UZ Core needs to start first. And then the multi-character. The next thing to do is run the SQL that comes with the multi-character. I left a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. Next, go back to your resources and find UZ multi-character, then open the customize.lua. The first option here is for the UI color. By default, it's the yellow shown in the commented out text. There's also a reddish color here. You can use these to choose the color you like or look one up and copy it, paste it over. The next option is the amount of character slots players start with. There is an option to integrate Tebex, which I'll show where to find the steps later in the video. Next are options for the default spawn location, the use of last location, and an option for starting apartments so adjust as you wish. Of course, if you have starting apartments enabled, change false to true here. Then there are some options for a custom spawn selector, UI, and skin for the character or clothing menu. Below that is where you can customize the items players get when they spawn. You can remove or add more following the format from the options that are already here. So of course, under the section that matches your framework, I'll copy the last one. Hit enter and paste, and then I'll change the item to something random like Oxy. Next are some commands. You can change the level of access to them. By default, it's set to admins. You can also change the command and the text that displays. Logout will allow them to change characters, and set care allows them to set the amount of character slots. The last thing are the character offsets. I won't be changing any of that. If you made changes, be sure to save them. Next, use the link in the description for the documentation. I will mention there is a custom notify that comes with the script, and the export for it can be found here under the notification section. Also, if you want to integrate Tebex for the slots, there is a section called Tebex integration, and the multi character is used as an example here, so follow that guide. Next, go back to your resources and find UZ Core. Then open the customize.lua. In here, there are options for your framework, inventory, and so on. By default, it'll auto detect what you're using for each, but you can also manually set it with the supported options in the commented out text. As an example, I'm using a Lanium appearance for the ped and clothing menu. So I'll copy it from the list here, then replace the option uh, next to skin. If you made changes, be sure to save them. And the next thing to look at are the server customization options. So go back to the UZ Core folder and open the server customize.lua. In here, you can add your bot token and set the MySQL options. I won't be changing any of this. If you did, be sure to save them. The last thing to do if you haven't already is delete QB multi-character or any other you use. So go to the resources and into the QB folder, find QB multi-character and delete it. After you've done that, start your server and test it out. 
If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one service using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. I'm in the server now and the menu looks great. On the right, it shows all of your characters, and on the left, it tells you the amount you use out of the maximum default slots, and you can click your characters in this table here. Once you click, it shows the information about them on the right, and gives you an option to spawn or delete the character. You can also click and rotate the character while they're selected. If you click the character again on the left, it takes you to the main menu and shows you all of your characters again. If you chose to integrate Tebex and a player use all the spots, once they buy another one, they can click buy a new character slot and enter the Tebex transaction ID here. So I'll click on the Danny character I have and show the process for deleting the characters. Once you click delete my character, there is a confirmation process. So I'll type the character's name and type delete my character and confirm it. To make a new character, click the plus and begin filling out the information. Okay, and I'll confirm it. With starting apartments off, the default spawn is at the airport, which you can change based on your preferences. So go ahead and save. And there he is there. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.